All right, y'all, welcome back to another video today. Today we're over in Prosper, but before we get into the video, I wanna go through a little driving lesson today with you guys, because it just seems like people don't quite understand the concept of a blinker. Somebody came over and almost hit me. Uh, somebody driving in that, that, it's that Ford car that looks like a school bus. It's like small. It's not small, it's like long. It's like, it's like a huge log. Look, I, I don't know the name of it, but the guy almost hit me. He had his blinker on. And uh, I'm like, oh, he's gonna really, he's gonna, he's gonna come in. He's gonna come in. I'm here. I'm still here. Check your blind spot. Didn't check the blind spot. So guys, I know the blinker is hard. It's a difficult thing to use. I know at certain times, right? And you, people just wanna, you know, you, you just wanna kind of go into that next lane over. However, there is a blind spot. So even after you put your blinker on, uh, you still gotta check it. Now, I mean. You could get crazy and check the blind spot before you actually turn on the blinker, but that is actually asking a lot out of people and that is a little too much. So if anything, just get the blinker on and then check the blind spot. Okay, rant over. Anyways, over in Prosper today, gonna be touring Lakewood at Brook Hollow. I think this is gonna be an awesome community for you guys to kind of check out and look at. A little bit older of a community, also a little bit newer of a community. They still got new construction and all those things going in right now. I will go back and tour a little bit of the shops along 380 as well as some of uh, the school, the middle school that they have right there for Prosper. But let's just get right into this neighborhood. I think this is gonna be an awesome neighborhood. A lot of different types of houses, different types of builders. It's got plenty of amenities. It's got this uh, weird little statue of two kids just kind of sitting together. Well, that's welcoming. Okay, so let's see if we can find the amenity center. Let's see if we can just drive around. They got nice little tree lines in here, rolling into our first uh, little pond area. So I guess they had that first street um, in there. It's kind of a cul-de-sac, but let's just hop into this one. Okay, so 2018 started getting developed in here with their first phase. Current price range right now that I've seen being sold in the last 90 days is anywhere from like 865,000 up to 1.1 million. However, that 1.1 million price, I think just barely got in uh, before the market really started shifting into June and July, into these months, we're starting to see a lot of price decreases, people coming back down from highs. And, uh, you know, during May, still we're, still we're seeing some, uh, you know, bids going over asking in here, and I'll get into some more details about that and kind of talk about the differences on what I see um, right now being listed. Medium price uh, right now as well that was being sold uh, was about seven hundred and ninety to eight hundred thousand dollars, and then the HOA fees in here range from like six hundred to seven hundred dollars, and semi annually not annually, that'd be pretty nice if it was annually, but semi-annually semi in here. And then the mud in here, well, there is none, so there's no extra fee with that. This is interesting, here's one house for sale. And then right down the street, you got another house for sale. It's happening, guys, uh oh, okay. Um, and then the taxes in here, about 2.5%. You're within Collin County over in this area, as well as Prosper ISD and uh, you're in Prosper the city. So that's gonna be about your tax rate. So three homes right there, all for sale. Now they only have about six homes currently active in this whole neighborhood. And this is a pretty good sized master plan community. It's like 230 acres. Most of the lot sizes in here are like 60 by 130 or 135 or 55 by 130. They do have a roundabout, so hold your breath. Look both ways. You don't need a blinker for this one, but why not? Let them know, Dan. Here's their amenity center, which kind of looks like a like a house. Kind of looks like one of the houses. They have like a little cardio room. the amenity center now. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit bigger maybe. I mean for this size of a neighborhood and the amount of families and people. On the other side of this uh, they got some more phases coming in. So Gihon was in here with the quick move in starting at like 659,000. 
try to get to the area where they're building the houses. Also notice they don't have mailboxes in front of their houses. You gotta walk to your little mailbox. So if you see like a little black stand thing, that is the mailbox. So here's some more into the new construction. And then currently I'm seeing about an average price per square foot of like $288. And then right now I can get into kind of what's been active and sold on this market. In the last 90 days, four homes have sold in this market. Now, with that being said, it, when I talk about these homes that have closed like in May, and then these homes that are now being listed right now, there is a uh, difference between the market. You can already see the shift that's happening and people kind of trying to uh, not really keep up with it, but kind of not get too ahead of it now. I keep going back to these price decreases, but that's what we are seeing in some of these residential luxury, which usually, Luxury at like the above 500s, 800,000s is usually the first ones to be hit on like these price decreases because then people just start looking at these like little custom things as really like um, priced out options and people start kind of going back down and um, seeing more. So both of those homes closed really high, right? And that was into May. Now we're getting into July and now there's some more houses sitting on the market right now. Like there's six homes active. These homes have also gone back in and had to drop down their prices. So for ev for just about every house that was listed, uh, they went down in and dropped their price uh, with in here. That's kind of what I've noticed. There was maybe one that's kept their price the same. Oh geez, it's a cul-de-sac. So actually I gotta go down the other way. There's also quite a bit of cul-de-sacs in here, which is not a bad thing. I guess I'll swing back down the other road then. But let's now talk about the six homes that are active. Uh, I'll kind of go into depth on two of them, but there are six homes currently active in here. For example, one of them was listed here, just a little over a million. It dropped down to $925,000 and is currently selling at a, a price at 236 per square foot. It's a four bed, four bath, 3,916 square feet, and that one is a 2019 year built. So you see a good amount of price decrease right off that. So uh, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty good amount. And then there's another one in here listed at 898,000, and it's dropped to 875,000. 291 price per square foot, four bed, four bath. 3,000 square feet, 2020 year built. So even these very new ones that are getting listed, I think there was another one that was like a 2021 uh, pre-owned that got listed. I don't, I can't remember if it was sold or not, but uh, those are options right now. I am starting to see that where if you guys kind of want to wait a second, um, you know, there are some houses dropping back down. That being said, what, what else I'm seeing is uh, houses will drop back down to like what they should be at, like their typical average price per square foot. And then maybe, maybe they'll get bid up five to 10,000. So like, for example, this one that's listed at like 898,000. If it goes another couple days, it'll probably drop just a little bit more. But after it drops, uh, to that lowest, it usually gets bid up just a little bit more after that, if that kind of makes sense. So it might get listed at like 898, drop down to 875, drop back down to 865, and then it's currently listed at that when the bid, when the offer is made on the bid that's accepted for like, you know, back up to 875. So that's what else I'm seeing is people coming back down, decreasing, but then still getting a bid up after they've made that de decrease because they're getting back to like what the average price per square foot is, what the typical thing is. People are kind of reaching out a little too much now because uh, hopefully realtors are keeping their sellers in line with kind of the expectations right now. I know that for our brokerage, we are telling people like, hey, you know, do expect a little bit of a slowdown if you don't have quite as many offers as what you're seeing. Because the other problem too, that was all the uh, model homes back there, but the other problem too, right, is that people go to online and look at 
articles and stories and start getting their own idea because they're reading things from people writing about the Dallas market that live in New York and have no idea what's going on. Anyways, so yeah, just make sure you know where you're getting your information from. Make sure your realtors are up to date if you're kind of working with that or selling with someone else. All right, now let's talk about the school district. So Prosper ISD is the school district in here. Go down this way since I already went down that road. Prosper ISD is the school district, Cockrell Elementary School, Rogers Middle School, and then Rock Hill High School, which is the new Prosper High School that's built. And uh, currently right now, I believe they're building another one. I believe there's another Prosper school getting built super close to here, but the middle school is very close. All of these are super, you know, close, not really far away too. So don't worry about the commute. What's going on, my man? It's a hot one, eh? And then for college campuses, you have UNT and then you have Collin College. And the UNT campus is getting built right off of Preston, so that should be done here relatively soon. Let's go this way since the other way seemed to be jam packed. And then 15 minutes away from the tollway in this general area. I think you're in a good spot. You're right off 382, but you're not in like the annoying part of 380. So if you are keeping up with 380 and all the shenanigans that are happening with that, there are some areas that is a real pain, but kind of in this area where you, you are, once they open up the tollway uh, over past 380, which they almost are at, uh, it'll be a lot easier to get on, but still super easy from here. So 10 to 15 minutes. You also got the Gates of Prosper that's super close. That's the shopping. I've done like one video kind of around that area uh, also within my Prosper playlist, driving from like one song ranch over to there. So uh, definitely check that out. But that's kind of where you would do like your grocery shopping, anything like that. And then for the most part, the commute, it's a little bit out there, but the tollway is there. So sometimes when I'm checking these times guys sometimes i do it at eight in the morning when there's a lot of traffic so just know there's like a buffer of like five to ten minutes when i am giving you like certain times on these so like for instance downtown dallas is like 50 minutes away from here dfw airport 40 minutes away from here and then you have the uh and then you have fort worth that's 45 to an hour away the high school is close five minutes away and then the nearest hospital is 12 minutes away and then the walmart grocery store is six minutes away so all those things that you kind of need to go to like your grocery store or anything like that hospital emergency close don't worry about that oh there's the school they're building over there so i believe that is the new high school could be wrong don't quote me on that all right now let's head back out to the front and uh, if I can uh, figure out how to get out of here. Now this says no outlet this way, so let's just go this way. Go out, back out to the roundabout. The roundabout will lead you out. Just wanna show you guys more of the outside area because more of this is developed. Since this is like a really big community, sometimes some of these master plan communities don't have like the retail in the front or some of that stuff that you like uh, and wanna have so you're not having, you know, just like a, donut store down the street or something like that that's super convenient so i'm going to show you guys what that looks like right along the edges of 380 and then i'll also drive by the middle school here rogers middle school and show you guys that but here's a nice little drive down this road oh here's another house for sale let's see this one give uh lori a call or or you can give me a call i got my number here or, or it's down here actually, I forget. I forget that I get put in a square here. So I always am like, I got my number up here, but it would actually be be down here. There's another house we sell. Six houses all right there. There's that statue I was talking about. Kind of got those just all over the place. All right, let's go over by this Prosper School. There is a apartment complex across the street. And then also down the street is the middle school here. Do a quick drive by on this.
probably not the right words to use when driving to a school. Let's just go down the wrong way. It says, all these signs say do not enter. And here I am. Just because my camera goes the wrong way. Alright, so here's the front of Rogers Middle School. That part is uh, for all the moms that watch my videos. Guys, I was looking at my analytics too. Uh, for a long time, it was like males 28 to 35. And now it's just totally flipped over to like now females have come out of nowhere. So females, welcome to the channel. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just kind of flips. I don't know if like, I don't know if I'm getting put in a, a different algorithm right now. Or, or what's going on. So welcome to anyone that's joined the channel recently, or if you've been here for a while, welcome back. Okay, now let's show you guys some of the shopping at this front area, and then we'll end today's video there. But everything's updated too, and everything's getting built new within here, and that's only gonna help with the equity. And that goes back to my other point, like, if you are gonna be buying a home in this market, if you are worried about something like that, buy something that is doesn't have everything developed around it, right? Like look at all the space where they're gonna put retail, where they're gonna put other stuff, where they're gonna add things for you guys. Uh, don't buy into something that's already got all that stuff, you know, or, or do it if you're maybe looking at buying an investment for like a rental, um, cause you don't wanna like, you know, get a rental probably in an area where no one else is gonna wanna live cause there's nothing else around it. But that being said, definitely look into these master plan communities that have not fully developed out their shopping retail area. All right, I have to go this way. I'm just on completely the wrong side guys. So I have to go this way. There's the gas station. Definitely gonna need to stop by that. I got a Panda Express, public storage. Go back down this way. This will give you a good idea on what the stores look. I don't know why I'm using my blinker. That's a tight turn. Only in the Z. So it gives a good idea. Ooh, this place called Dapper. Never heard of that haircut place. Don't even get, guys, oh, GTR, GTR. Maybe that was a sign, guys. That was a sign. All right, I'm gonna end the video today on that note, seeing the GTR, that was fun. Uh, but that's kind of what this area looks like right off uh, the neighborhood, right off 380. So thank you guys so much for coming back to another video. Comment down below if you guys want me to check out any other areas. Other than that, peace out, guys, and take it easy, y'all. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.